It's a simple question. If someone seems lonely or upset, ask them, are you OK? Sure, you run the risk of a rebuke of somebody being offended, but we have to run the risk. That's the ob obligation we have to each other as, as, as neighbours. That obligation is more pressing than ever, according to Dame Quentin Bryce, who is now a mental health advocate. At 12.6 deaths per 100,000 people, Australia's suicide rate is above the global average. Men and Indigenous communities are particularly at risk. I think we're feeling deeply disturbed about uh, the reports that we hear so often about suicide. That concern, though, has had positive consequences, with mental health experts saying Australians are much more willing to discuss their feelings. The Are You OK campaign and others have raised awareness. Suicide prevention is given more attention than ever before. Including at this service in Adelaide run by volunteers, many of whom have suffered a loss through suicide. We work in the, I guess, the early intervention area of suicide prevention. Jill Chapman set up the service called MOSH after her son Michael ended his life in 2001. Peter Sparrow's son Bennett ended his in 2009. Despite the greater openness around suicide prevention, both parents found in the aftermath of their son's deaths, silence still ruled. People would rather cross the street and go to the dentist than, than come up to me and say something as simple as, I'm so sorry for your loss. They acknowledge care is needed in discussing suicide, particularly with young people where there can be a risk of imitation. As parents, their grief came with unique complications, a sense of guilt, the question of why. Both argue none of that should make them or their children invisible. The loss is the loss. Mm. And, it, and, the, and the cause behind it sometimes actually doesn't matter. I don't want people to be shunned the way I was to some degree. I guess saying it's okay to put your foot in your mouth yeah. but, and then say, I'm so sorry, but just say, I'm so sorry for your loss and leave it at that. No blame, no shame. The same as anyone else enduring a loss. Simon Royal, ABC News, Adelaide.